Willow is a hated character that takes some of the most difficult parts of Don't Starve together and makes them even worse. So I decided to try becoming a Willow main with one life to discover the best use for her skill tree, overcome her painful downsides, and exploit her perks to take on the King of the Cold. Starting in a brand new world with no insight and only 5 days to find a Moonstone. If we don't find the Moonstone by day 5, it is GG's, game over. So let's get some flint first. Because we also want to check all the cave entrances that we come across. There's a freaking pig torch. Well, pig, don't mind if I do. Just grab a couple berries. Okay, so this time we got to bring a lot more sticks and grass. The Moonstone would normally be found inside of a forest surrounded by fireflies. But the forest could be anywhere across the map, which normally takes 7 days to completely explore. It has to be done perfectly, to the perfect execution. And so I had to cover as much ground as possible. Let's go down that wormhole and hope for the best. Okay, we got a forest here. Ooh, I think this is the moonstone. While also checking for any signs of the ruins. Mm, bunny. Thanks for the carrots. This will come really handy. Doesn't seem to be anything useful around here. Just a bunch of useless stuff. Yeah, this is magic. This is not the forest. Doesn't mean we can't get pigs though. Things were not looking too good in the surface or in the caves, but I took the time to collect the materials for an alchemy engine good and pig. also embraced Correct being them. a willow main a little bit. With five pigs, we're good. Just what we needed. This is Mandrake Forest, but it could also be both of the forests combined. Might regret this, but it's fine. Okay. That is a terrible freaking wormhole. Day one had gone by and I had little to show for it other than another terrible cave entrance. But thankfully, the second half of day two helped us find a lot of good set pieces that would help us in the rest of the run. We still have three more days to explore in my opinion. So, see if we find an Ebo tree around here. Pig village, not bad. We can get lots of grass. Pan flute. That's actually great. Okay, that's Pig King. I like forest. And before it was done, I was able to find okay, this. So right now, we're looking for a lot of- <gasps> Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Finding the Moonstone was the first time-sensitive objective taken care of. But next, now we're looking for a cave entrance. Okay, since I had saved a lot of time finding the Moonstone, I could now spend a little bit more finding the perfect cave entrance, which would ideally lead me directly to the ruins, where my next goal was to either make or find a star color stamp. Come on, come on, it's literally the last thing, please be the one. Yo, okay, wait, oh my god, please don't be the mixed one, please don't be the mixed one. Bro, there's no way, please, 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 it is, it is it. Wait, no! Yeah, there was no way I was going down a mixed mushroom biome. And so I headed back up to the surface to find another cave entrance where right before the night ended, I was able to find this. <gasps> yes, it's right there. The Ebo tree gave me the last material I needed from the surface in case I wasn't able to find the star color staff. And so now all I needed was a good cave entrance. I'm giving myself until the end of today to find another cave entrance. Come on, pigs, where is it? Now you guys are hiding it. Stop gatekeeping. It's gotta be here. There's always a cave entrance near pig. How is it not here? Guys, am I am I lying that there's always a cave entrance near picking? I'm not lying. There's always one near pig. But there wasn't any. I just need a cave entrance. This is not great, but it is not great. <laughs> I mean, I'ma just go for it, bro. I'm just gonna go for it. Pickaxe time. All right, we're gonna do science machine right here. All right, we're gonna do backpack. We're gonna do spear, shovel, alchemy, chest. But I was about to realize it probably wasn't such a good idea. Oh my God, is this? You, you guys are gonna witness why I hate this biome. You see, what what is this? What is this? Okay, we might have made it out, but then again, this biome sometimes just has branches like this that just lead to another exact replica of the biome that you just got out of. Ah! If we can find the blue mushroom biome from here, that would be amazing. Let's just put it right here. That. Golden pickaxe. We are down to no sticks at all. The ruins would be very dangerous since Willow's low sanity would make her vulnerable to shadow creatures. Think, However, with only six days clover. left till the Moonstone uh, event, I had to be fast. Clover. Ah! But also really Banana. careful. Oh crap. We don't like this biome. We do not like this biome. Okay, there's monkeys right there. No, don't follow me. Don't follow me. Actually, don't follow me, please. Look, there's bananas. You guys like bananas? Come on, eat the bananas and leave me the hell alone. I was able to make it down there that same day and start collecting some thulocyte from the sculptures, but Mine the ruins away. were only getting started. Ah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I don't want to drop Bernie. I'm saving him. He's saving himself for marriage. 
the nightmare creature waves would be endless down here but i needed at least two yellow gems and a fixed pseudoscience station to be able to craft the star color staff and i was having no luck from the sculptures okay there's one right there oh crap ah, i won't do it again there's another one there okay there's none here Okay, let me make the medallion. I'm gonna tank a hit for it. It didn't take me too long to get the yellow gems, but with no fixed pseudoscience station, I decided to make an amulet instead. Run! Oh, I dodged it! I dodged it! Woo! And almost as a reward, I got my first insight. Barney, health regen! Wait, actually... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now, for those of you that know as little about skill points as I do, Insight is used to unlock and upgrade certain abilities of a player. And since I know pretty much nothing about Willow, I decided to interview somebody that knows a lot and whose videos helped me a lot throughout this playthrough. Since they haven't done a boys reveal, I'll just read off what they told me. And it's pretty much that no matter what you want to do with your skill tree, Embers are one of the most important things. And to unlock Embers, you first have to go through her lighter skills. Which okay, is exactly what I did. Absorbing, absorbing flames. That way I can get Embers fast. Embers are fun. Okay, let's go back. I still need to make my uh, mag. He can't hit me. He can't hit me. He legally can't hit me. He legally can't hit me. Damn, he took a big chunk of my health. Okay, it's gotta be this way. And thanks to the amulet, we made it to the entrance of a mate. Let's get more lichen. We're gonna eat this to heal. We're not gonna have any healing during this fight unless we find us. That. Por favor, quítate. We have one nightmare fuel to refuel our mag, but it's okay. Right, We're after guys. checking a couple of chests. Oh, I dropped the amulet. It was time for the fight. Ow, what the hell? He didn't take damage from that thing? <laughs> wait, wait, what the hell's going on here? Bro, do you mind? What the hell's going on? Hold up, what the hell? This dude's trolling me. This freaking rook, it's breaking all the pillars. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he didn't kill him? This is not even my fight anymore. This is the Rook's fight. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Bro, I cannot fight this dude. He's dead! Woo! Okay. Oh my god, bro. This... Oh my god. We still have four days until uh, Moonstone. Hopefully, we get at least a, a star color staff. <laughs> we got a walking cane! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And a mag, uh, which I can't carry. Uh, and a green gem. Ancient Guardian unfortunately didn't give us a star color staff, but he did give us enough tulisite to fix our own station and then make our own star color staff to make it up to the surface before day 11. Or at least try to be completely calm yet. Wait, crap. Wait, what the hell? Oh, crap. Did I actually fumble this shit? Guys, I might have fumbled. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh my god, that's a lot! Wait, this is the wrong way! What the hell am I doing? Oh, what the hell? But thankfully, our speed saved us. Not once! Whew! That was terrifying. <laughs> Imagine if we would have freaking done everything perfectly and then died to Splamunk. Oh, crap! But twice. Literally one day until day 11. This is a great cave entrance, it's just not the best. All right, let's set up this little thing we like to call home. But I still needed a setup and I had forgotten something really important. Alchemy engine? You've gotta be kidding me. I forgot my alchemy engine is in the caves in the middle of the ruins. But thankfully I can teleport. 
Alchemy. Red gem, nobody cares about red gems. Unfortunately, I'm yeah, not that good at math. You know what though? I might have accidentally not made enough. Yup, yup, yup. We're missing walls, but it's okay. Thankfully, the pigs surrounding the forest were able to donate some cut stone and with multiple failed attempts ended right here on this event that were streamed right here on YouTube that you won't miss by subscribing, I could begin the Moonstone event using the strategy from Amis. All right, Bernie. It's time, Bernie. <laughs> it's time, Bernie. It's time. <laughs> I didn't get the pan flu. <laughs> oh, we're doing this, Bernie. We're doing this. Let's go! Bernie! <laughs> we did it! We did it, Bernie! We did it! We did it, Bernie! We freaking did it! No one else is stronger than I am! Last night, I... <laughs> Let's go. I now had the first piece of the Crystal Deer Club fight, but before I could get to the next one, I had to do three things. One, explore the rest of the world and find a good base location. Two, find Pearl's Island and start working on her task. And three, learn a lot more about Willow. Let's explore with speed. There's carpet. We need five. There's only four. Okay, Chester is around here somewhere. I normally find him around that. Nah, but imagine I actually played that song. <laughs> There's a yeah, we could also find no, no, no. We have a nine days until winter. I am on, on grind mode. Perfect. Now you're around here, Chester. Okay, there's beefalo right there. So, so, so. A cave entrance. Do we call them meteors if they come from the moon? Because if the moon was originally part of the earth, does that still count as a meteor? How is there so many? And why am I kiting so bad? Bro, what? It. You've done it now. It's already day 14. There we go. Perfect. Now we can collect embers. Hello, Mr. Chester. Wait, what the hell? Now we're actually doing it. Don't mind me. I forgot it's about the marble. There you go. You got two. Let's get ten more. Days. Let's go, Chester. Let's head off into the ocean. But I need a lot. Yeah. <gasps> Pearl! She's all the way at the other side. It's fine. We got cookie cutter shells. We need those. We need those. We need those. We actually need those. It took me an entire day to get all the cookie cutter shells I would need to upgrade Pearl's house. Come on, I know you got it in you. Yes! And then on day 18, two days before winter started, I collected all the butterflies I would need to plant flowers as well as the berry bushes to finally yes. head to Pearl's house for the very first right time. Right on time! All right, let's get the berry bushes. Which was a lot easier said than Look, lying. there was more salt here. Oh my God, is Pearl gonna have a fortress in front of her base again? At least we know one thing. Lunar Island is definitely not here. It was early day 19 and I had no plans to stay in here long. So I quickly planted some flowers, dried some kelp, and planted some berry bushes near Pearl's house to get three friendship points. When I tried building her house up to the first level and I noticed I was missing a couple things. I don't even think I prototype boards. No, I didn't prototype boards. Damn it. Big, big, big fumble. Big fumble, guys. Big freaking fumble. I still managed to get three out of the ten friendship Pearl, points I needed from Pearl, though. The... So since I was already in the middle of the ocean, I decided I might as well try to find Lunar Island while I was here. Why is it clearing up, then? <gasps> Lunar, what the hell? <gasps> Bro, amazing. Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Stone. 
But while collecting some moonstones for Pearl and mining the pieces of the outer, right Willow's there. worst enemy decided to poke its head through. Crap, I forgot it was day 20. Okay, Chester. Things have just taken up a turn. See, although Willow has more protection from overheating, she takes more damage from freezing. And so, I would have to spend the rest of winter finding creative ways to stop it from damage. 10 cutstone. Alright, 10 cutstone. I will leave that. Thermal stone. Where's my thermal stone? Yeah, I ended up wasting all my stone on cut stone, but thankfully I had a little bit more left over, and now I had to focus on getting all those boards I had forgotten. But even better than wood was another insight point. <gasps> yes, fireball! Now, since I didn't really plan on fighting too many bosses hand on hand, and I also didn't know how to fight with Willow, I decided to go for the Ball of Fire, which allows you to turn a couple of embers into a knockoff dwarf star. However, if you do plan on fighting with Willow, you should probably go for more of the combat or Bernie skill tree. Anyways, I finished crafting all the wooden boards I needed for Pearl, and then followed up by working on the base a little bit, setting up all my kelp, and then chopping down some more trees, since I would be making a boat to finish off some of Pearl's quests. Which, speaking of quests, all of them are pretty easy to do, only Never being annoying to collect the ingredients. However, there is two of them that are actually oh, pretty hard to do. And the only reason is because you have to be able to time it at the exact moment that it's either snowing or raining to give Pearl some gear, like the dapper vest and an umbrella. And so I had to collect a bunch of bone seed from the desert to be able to make a dapper vest before winter ended and I couldn't do it anymore. For this reason, I think we should invade Poland. See if you're... I already have so many bones. Yes, one more. Guys, we just need one more. This has to be it. Yes, we did it. Okay, let's go to Pearls. I think we got everything, Chester. I think we got everything. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. We need silk and we still need to craft the vest. What am I doing? I can make a hand bat. We will overthrow the communist regime. Oh my god, that took so much health. What the hell, pig? Did you see that? That's malarkey. That is malarkey, I tell ya. Let's go, uh, what the hell's your name? Karas, kerosene. Ooh, I like you already. I like you already, kerosene. Now, kerosene. Here's the deal. You will turn into a were pig, and I will get a handbat. I actually don't want to do it to him. Never mind. I don't want to kill Kerosene, guys. Kerosene is so nice to us. He's honestly one of the nicest pigs I've ever met. I ended up letting Kerosene live to be an old pigman. But since winter was approaching its end, I decided I would try to spend it as close to Pearl's Island. And after crafting a pinch and winch, I headed off to the Lunar Island to set up the altar as well. I doubt it's going to snow again, but... I guess. Where is it? Ow. <sighs> yeah, it took a lot longer without a beefalo. All done. But after setting oh, it up, I started to notice I actually had right not brought any food at all. And so I gathered a little bit of kelp and then headed off to Pearl's Island where I would no dry way. it. But right in the middle of it was actually the Munque Island, which actually has some banana bushes that I could eat once harvested. The only problem was they weren't grown yet. <gasps> no, I don't have flint. Wait, this thing drops flint, right? It should drop flint, right? No, I was going to dig up the banana bushes. Unfortunately, guys, we cannot get the bananas. I'm very sad. But it's the truth. Things were not looking too good this for me, but I still had a two days left into winter. Damn, ooh, so I headed to Pearl's ooh. Island to make sure I wouldn't miss the next snow. All right, Pearl, are you ready? And also finally upgraded her house. And finally, um, where is it? Moonstone. No, 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 no. You're lying to me right now. I forgot this. Yeah, I forgot the moonstone. Are you kidding? I didn't want to leave until I finally had the snow though, so I decided to put right. my pinch and winch to work right. and clean up Pearl's Island. 
All right, Pearl. Willow's cleanup service has been hired to clean up this island. Debate. Let's go. But with all this pinch and winching, my stomach was not looking too good. And so I headed back to Moonquay. So here's the thing, guys. We're about to starve to death. But the banana bushes were still not We're going to starve to death, and I have two options. One, I stuff my face with monster meat and probably die. Two, I wait for these bananas to grow. This might not work. Or three. I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's a three. There, there's probably not a three. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, it's snowing. Meaning with no food, health, or sanity, I would have to decide if I went home and played it safe or I took off to Pearl's Island and gave her the best. We seriously need to go home. We don't have a lot of time. We do not have But of course I couldn't give up now. Woo! She's normally never this freaking far. An inside point, an inside point. Pearl, 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 Pearl. Wait outside, wait outside. And right when I was about to give her the best. No! Are you kidding me? It literally just stopped. Screw you, Pearl. Screw you. And screw this stupid shadow creature. Literally 10 second rain. Are you kidding me? That is freaking stupid. That is the stupidest thing ever. I freaking rode so damn fast all the way over here for it to rain for three damn seconds. Screw you, dude. Screw you, that's... Yeah, you could say I was pretty upset. Get the hell away from my boat. Don't ever talk to me or my children ever again. But at least I got another skill point. What insight point? What do you want? Which I spent on control burning that limits any fires I light from spreading at all. Whatever. However, I was still at the edge of starving. Come on, bananas. They're not even growing yet. I'm dead, dude. I am so dead. I am actually so freaking dead. But even worse is my health and sanity were not far behind. Oh my god, bro. Are you kidding? Stupid shadow creature piece of shit. Dead, dude. I'm dead. There's no freaking saving it. Screw this game. Screw this stupid run. Screw Willow and screw this dumb challenge. I regret everything I said. I lied. I love this game. I love this challenge. I love everything about the Lunar Island. And I love everything about Pearl and all of it. And I love everybody that's watching. I love this so much. So beautiful. Wow. This game is so wonderful. Hi, right, Bernie. You're going to protect us because I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. Yeah, I had somehow managed to make it out of this island with full hunger, but my health and sanity were still pretty low. So I decided to head to the Lunar Island, where after chopping down some trees, I was able to get some moon mods that not only heal you, but also give you a lot of sanity. Moon mods! Woo! At least I already cleaned her island. The only thing that's left is for me to go there while it's snowing. That means I need to stay in the surface for the rest of winter. But I don't even know why. Why did it snow for literally like 10 seconds? It makes no sense. I was still pretty upset about what had happened at Pearls. But as I was walking home, the full moon rolled around putting one thought in my mind. Glamour! Glamour! Glamour, 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 glamour. Avoid the pigs. Avoid the pigs. <laughs> One of the pigs did see me though, so I had to get my hands a little bit dirty. And then some of his friends noticed he was missing. You stupid pigs! Stop it. I don't want to play anymore. I'm going to tell my mom. But as I made it home and started analyzing my situation, I realized things were probably a lot worse than I first thought. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful moon rock. I don't think the Eclipse is going to spawn, and I think it's going to turn winter, it's going to turn spring, and I'm not going to be able to do that with Pearl. I'm not going to be able to give her the vest, and I just wasted so much time that could have been in the caves. Thing goes, why is my life pain? Why is my life... And so I set up a crock pot. Beautiful, we can cook the meat, the bala. Finally collected a couple embers. Killed a couple beefalo for big meat. And then headed down to the caves where I would be spending the first few days of spring before it started to rain. The game has turned around, boys. 
Now the last time I had been here I had been in a pretty big rush but now I had a little bit of more time so I wanted to make sure that I got a couple of Tulosite crowns and most importantly a deconstruction staff which I would need to get my iridescent gem out of my ice staff polar staff I don't know what it's called which I would then use to activate the archives and get some forbidden knowledge. And bing bang boom we are done. I love this freaking fireball bro it's the most amazing thing ever if i make one of these i can craft that i can make this that 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 and that so first of all most important thing this <laughs> i don't even have nightmare fuel i don't even have nightmare fuel left uh that this <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna make one more crown It ended up starting to rain while I was still down here, but I thankfully made it out of the ruins Hello, before the nightmare phase and make it straight to the archives. Okay, Where after the finding puzzle. the fountain and the puzzle, oh, yeah, is... I turned on the power and started the puzzle. <laughs> One out of five! Woo! The forbidden knowledge would allow me to make an astro detector, and so I headed back up to the surface where the rain was taking over the world. We're going back home, we're going back home. It's raining, and we can go take the umbrella to Pearl. And since I hadn't killed Deerclops, that meant I would have no chance of having an Ibrella. Okay, so I think we have a couple of days until I have to worry about. So, we're gonna try to get some tentacle spots. God, I hate this rain. I definitely need a raincoat. Hopefully we can find some already dead tentacles. The tentacle spots would allow me to make a raincoat that protects me from 100% of wetness just like an umbrella. However, I didn't really have the materials to be fighting tentacles right now, so I just let a couple of merms do it for me. Yes, merms, kill the tentacle and give me a spot. There was no subway surfers though, so I got bored and I left. I'm so sad. And I paid the price almost immediately. Because not only would I have no protection against lightning... Wow, thank you so much, video game. But the worst thing about rain is that wetness them? lowers your temperature. You really, really starting off like this? Are we seriously starting off like this? Are you? F Bro, I hate this game so goddamn much. Or maybe the actual worst thing is that rain puts out your fires faster. Wait, where is Bernie? Wait, what? What the hell? He's on the boat. No, he's probably broken. I'm just going to say it. He's probably dead. All right, we're going to go to Pearls. It should rain for at least another day, right? I'm going to have to make a grass raft. Wait, does Chester have the... Uh, I didn't even pick up Chester. I didn't even pick up Chester, and he's the most important thing right now. One of Pearl's tasks is giving her an umbrella while it's raining. However, since I had missed giving her a vest while it was snowing, I would Look, now I have, have to change minute. my plan to accommodate for a chair. Inside! Let's go... Okay, so we've done a couple of things. Creatures burn for longer time. That one, because I want the uh, extra damage for my fire. The first step being getting a blueprint by killing a shadow creature on a chair in the ruin. Chairs, chairs, chairs. Okay, so where are the most chairs? The most chairs are over there. He's still there. But as I lowered my sanity and tried to kill him, I realized he was actually inside of the pillar. Are you kidding me? I can't even hit him! Summing up this game in one freaking screen. Sum up this game in one damn screen. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys, are you guys seeing this? I'm pretty sure there's not another one here. Thankfully, there was another one sitting by a chair nearby, and so I was able to get the blueprint. craft another crown and then start working on the pieces for the astro detector which took me a lot longer than it shows are you kidding me i just perfect he's over here somewhere in the middle of uh in the middle of there Getting a beefalo during spring is a pretty big pain so i decided instead to focus on doing some groundwork nice. getting some gold taking care of a hound wave 
And since I would also need some weather paint before I got to Crystal Deer Clops, I also killed some Moose Moose. Which wasn't really the hard part because... Because there's not really a hard part to lose. Okay, I think we got like exactly for one weather pin. We're gonna have to kill another Muscus. But before that, That's since it was still fun. raining, I decided I would take but, uh, the chance and head to Pros to try to give her an umbrella. Very, very happy. But the closer I got, the less it seemed to be raining, and I was worried I would get to her and it would immediately stop raining. But thankfully, I was able to give it to her, fix her house to the final level, and then start working on the chair. Oh, the chair! The chair! The chair! The chair! The chair! Which, unfortunately, I was a little bit too late for. Stay there. No, shit. Give me the, give me the thing. <laughs> no, I forgot about the chair. Damn it. Now I gotta wait the entire day. And if like waiting the entire night was not a big enough L, uh, that was great. Upon right, checking what I would need to make her the wooden chair, I realized I was missing something really important. Softwares. Important. No, the fucking flint! The fucking flint! <laughs> there was really no point in me sitting here and waiting for pearls, so I just headed back home and took out my anger on Moose Goose. I think we did pretty good for ourselves. Now we gotta go for the vote goats. It is easier to fight them during the night, so I have a lot of time to just uh, wander around. Ooh, crap. Is it, is it gonna be summer already? Let's go. There's some more sticks that hopefully won't go missing this time. A frog rain. Wait, can I get another moose goose kill? Actually, I'm gonna use these frogs to kill tentacles. Where is there a tentacle? Actually, I can use them to kill the vote goats. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Run, 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 Willow, run. All right, vote goats, I'm here. Oh no, they're freaking getting demolished. But they didn't really fight each other. I don't think they'll fight the... Never mind, they're not fighting the goats. They don't fight goats. Dude, these goats are all gonna get extinct. Can you go to get out of the swamp, please? Oh my god, this place is a freaking mess. Go, 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 get over there. Holy crap. Oh my god. What is going on? And I tried to save them, but most of them had something for tentacles. One horn! Let's go. If we get one more horn, we're done. Yes, goats, go away. All right, which one do we kill? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe of the otters. I'm going to eat them. Oh man, okay, we're gonna have to come back. I didn't get the last horn I needed, and so after pushing the vote goat away to make sure the herd wouldn't die, I got I another see. insight point. Another insight point. Insight point, all right. This is what we were going for. Your fires deal more damage to creatures over time. Cause this, I literally never use it. But this. For what I was doing, Firefighter was the best option I had, since none of the other lighter skills will really come in handy. But now that I had everything I wanted from the Embers, it was time to head back to Pearls to finally finish her task. I am so happy I will never have to go to Pearls ever again. Okay, we have one minute. One minute! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Shit. 
She's eating! No! <laughs> bro, just give me the pearl. Bro, just give me the pearl. Yep, even after spending multiple days doing her do task and doing everything that she wanted, she was oh still gonna God, make me wait an entire it. other night. We'll just wait for Pearl. Can you sit on If you could bring me some big fish. Pearl, I've literally done everything for you and you are seriously the most ungrateful person. Nah, bro. There's no way this lady just emoted on me. Bro, is she not gonna sit on the damn chair? She did end up sitting on the chair and finally giving me her pearl. Meaning I would never yes. have to come back yes. here. Yes! Yeah, but next was the crab king fight and I was still missing a lot of things starting with some blue and red gems That I would dig up from the graves and turn into purple ones for crab king followed by checking the mosaic biome for the celestial orb Which surprise was not there. All right, so the orb is still not here We gotta make sure we remember to check here even if we do everything right and we forget this orb It's not gonna work unless I spawn it in <laughs> but no, that's bad that is cheating. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end up actually prototyping a top hat manipulator. Anyways, after making my Preste Hatitator, I started collecting all the bees I could see because we would be cheesing Crab King. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna be fighting him. Okay, I can't even tell any of these apart. With a couple more embers on day 56, summer finally it's rolled summer. around. We are looking for a living log. But can I be honest with you? Crab King is probably Everybody's my favorite least favorite summer. fight in the world, and it's so annoying to fight. So I'm not going to sit here and explain what happened for the next 30 days, because I know the retention is just going to go whoop. And so I'll pretty much just sum it up. I tried finding him, but he was not where I expected. Time to find Crab King. I definitely feel like it's over here. And I ended up having to go through the sandstorm to finally find out he was all the way at the other side of the ocean. Oh, all right, I cleaned up all the stones around him. And then with all my bees in hand in two boats, I began to fight. It was also really boring and I finally finished them off, leading me to finally put the altar for Celestial Champion together and begin the Moonstorm event. Okay, so we're gonna do these three. And here began my favorite part of this challenge. Okay, it's not in my base. Oh, it's in the bees. Oh yeah, and this is also my beefalo. He doesn't have a name. Everybody say hi to him. Goodbye, beefalo. All right, time for the reads. Oh yeah, and also the vote goat, the vote goat. Let's go kill that vote goat. All right, vote goat, I'm here. There we go. Perfect, literally the last one. But now I had to get a potato and make some astro goggles. Bro has lost his marbles. Oh, Wagstaff. Give me the blueprints. Thanks to my ginormous brain, I had started a little farm back at the base and I had grown a potato which I turned into an astro goggles and began collecting all the spoilable. Now when I did this, it was still the winter feast so I had access to gift wraps which are pretty much bundling wraps but made with only petals and that means I could save anything that spoils fast like the moon shards for multiple days while I completed the Wagstaff's challenge. Nice, we even went one over. One more, one more. We're so close, guys. There it is. Final one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And now all that stood between me and Celestial Champion was a couple Moonstorm events. All right, Wagstaff, I'm here and ready to fight. Let's do this. Please don't go to Barrager. Oh, this is perfect. It's like a little corner. So that means it can only be over here or over here. Yep, look at that. And for those of you that don't know, the Moonstorm event is pretty much just handing Wagstaff a bunch of tools that you don't know the name of unless you're Winona, while also defending it from some weird birds that spawn because, uh, I don't know, reasons. However, the only ones that you really have to pay attention to are the red ones, because those throw projectiles that can land from pretty far away, pretty much defeating any progress that you've done, which did happen to me a couple times. 
Ow! Alright, we're ready. Bathroom plunger. Where's the bathroom plunger? Holy crap. Witch defibrillator? No! Damn it. Alright, wax stuff. We're ready. We're ready. We're steady. Okay, we. Yeah. It was definitely this one. Yes! Perfect. All right, now we got two. We're literally almost done, guys. Almost. I feel it in my tongue. Our right, sanity's not that high, so we shouldn't have to deal with too many gestalts. I was a mechanic in my other life. <laughs> Wagstaff, that lightning fell right on top of your experiment. How does that not make it take damage? Are you kidding? You stupid. Overall, I didn't do too bad. Finishing the last experiment on day 78, leaving me only with the task of collecting a couple of blue and green mushrooms that would help me heal and lower my sanity for the Celestial Champion fight. Which was the final fight I would have to do before getting to Crystal Deer Clubs and marking myself as the true Willow May. It's there! It's there! Let's go! Hi, Beefalo. That it? Woo! Dun, 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 dun. All right. God, okay. Second stage. This one is a little bit harder, but I think you can do it. Oh my god. Damn, on the last one, are you kidding? Oh. Bad. We're not doing bad. Run, Bernie, run! No, my boy. I'll save you, Bernie. No, Bernie! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! I make it look easy, huh? I make it look easy! White Staff, yo! Where's Bernie? Where's Bernie? Bernie, I want you to witness this. Bernie, I want you to witness this. Look, Bernie. 
Look, Bernie. Look, Bernie. We did it. We did it, Bernie. But it wasn't over yet, because now that Celestial Champion has been defeated, this meant that once Deer Club rolled around, we would be able to fight the final Crystal Deer Clubs. And so we still have a little bit of time left. Look, Beefalo, we have the crown. We have the crown, Beefalo. We have spent so much time. Since I had been so busy taking care of all the different tasks that I had to do to get to the Celestial Champion, I had neglected my base a lot. And so I decided since it was already coming to an end, I would make my base look as pretty as possible. Now if I could just have some freaking inventory management. <laughs> but in the middle of organizing my base on day 91, Deer Club decided they were not gonna wait around. Wait, Deer Clubs is here already? I need him to chill over here. I need him to chill over here. But I was far from ready, and so I left him near Berger while I took care of the last couple of things I would need. All right, Fart Clubs. Where yet? Wait a minute. My hand bat. Idiot. Are you ki- Where the- Fuck did I do my backpack? Wait, what? Where's my gift? Where the hell did I leave that gift? The gift, Chester! The gift with the hand bat! This is so stupid. And since I know some of you are probably wondering, while doing all of the Crab King stuff, I actually got three other points which I spent on Bernie to help me fight the Celestial Champion. And the last one that I got on day 92 was spent on one last lighter skill to make sure that I had the best chance possible to take down the Crystal Deer Clops. Oh yeah. Deer Clops, I'm here. Oh my god, Willow. Willow, you can't suck this much at Deer Clubs. It's the easiest boss in the game. Wait, where's Crystal Deer Clubs? Yeah, so it turns Whoa, out that Crystal what? Deer Clubs will only spawn if there's an active rift in the world. What? And there wasn't. So after 50 hours of failed attempts, I was unfortunately not able to prove that Willow is a good character. And thinking about it, after spending 50 hours playing Willow, I don't think she's a good character at all. Matter of fact, I hate her and I never want to play her again. I spent over 50 hours becoming a Willow main and now I hate myself for being one. Willow is terrible at rushing bosses and her ability to complete tasks is subpar. However, she is a pretty fun character if you're just doing a casual playthrough and her abilities definitely help. Bernie helps a lot during Shadow Creatures and her lighter is great for beginners. So if you made it this far, Become a channel member. Hey, I'm trying to feed my family, and Willow is causing me to get a divorce. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Anyways, this was Pokesar, 100 Days as Willow. Boo, bye-bye.